Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Margarita and I'm so glad that you are here. Welcome to my very first Get It All Done video. Today is Sunday and on Sunday I like to meal plan, grocery shop and meal prep to help me out during the week. Today I'm also doing a, few, a little bit of spring cleaning in my living room and other things that I usually do on Sunday. I hope you enjoy this video and get some motivation. I wash my curtains about once or twice a year. I'm just removing my sheer curtains today and I'm also dusting the rods. There's quite a bit of dust and cobwebs on them. Today is going to be a very busy laundry day. I do two loads of laundry every day, a load of darks and a load of whites. And today I'm washing the curtains and I'm stripping all of the slip covers off of my sectional and washing all of that as well. This is the Upland sectional from Ikea, which we got back in October and we have been loving it. It is a very comfortable couch and I absolutely love how easily the cushions come on and off because with four kids, the covers do get dirty and I do end up washing the covers about every two months. My little kids love it when I wash the slip covers because they get to play with all of the cushions. On Sundays, I like to make a breakfast item for the week. I either make muffins or cinnamon rolls or sometimes I buy some croissants. Today I am making cinnamon rolls because that's one of my kids' favorite things to eat and I will include the full recipe down below for you. To make my cinnamon roll dough, I just added one cup of warm milk into my stand mixer bowl. I added two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. I whisked that together. Then I added one egg, two tablespoons of melted butter, four tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, whisked the wet ingredients together. Then I added three cups of flour. And then I stirred everything together and let the dough rise for about two hours. As the laundry comes out of the dryer, I like to fold everything and put it away right away just because my laundry room is just off of my kitchen and once I start cooking, the laundry will start to absorb the smell just because I am making chili today and that can be really smelly when you're frying up the onions. And I am now switching out the laundry. I am putting in the large slip cover first and then I will wash the cushion covers. This upholstered chair is also from Ikea. However, the cushion covers do not come off. And as you can see, it is very dirty. My kids like to sit here and eat snacks. My husband likes to drink his coffee here. So it does get pretty dirty and I like to clean this chair with my upholstery cleaner. And the machine that I used is the Bissell Multipurpose Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. I got it on Amazon a couple years ago. I'll link it down below for you. It is really great for small tasks like chairs. And of course we clean the carpets in our car if we need to. It works really great for those tasks. However, if you have a large area like a carpet, I suggest getting or renting a larger machine for that. I will be cleaning the windows behind the chair and in the living room where I'm washing the curtains. I like to use these streak-free microfiber cloths. You just wet them with water and wipe everything down and just keep rinsing them once they get dirty and dusty. 
And since I moved the chair out of the way to get to the windows, I am going to wash the baseboards and the floors just with a microfiber rag. I am giving my house plants a little bit of love today, just watering them with a little bit of fertilizer. And I also like to check the plants and see if there's any damaged leaves that need to come off or some dried leaves that I can pick off. Once my curtains are done, I am going to hang them up. I'm not going to iron them. I'm going to steam them once they are up. These sheer curtains are from Ikea and one pair is only $4.99. And I have three panels on each side of my window. I have this little steamer that I got from Amazon a couple years ago and I absolutely love it. I steam my clothes out when I take them out of my seasonal bins and I love it for uh, curtains as well. I used to have the big steamer that was on wheels and I never ended up using it just because it was so bulky. So my curtains are up and they look beautiful and fresh but the rest of the living room is a complete disaster. <laughs> So while I am waiting for my slip covers to finish washing and drying, I'm going to make my cinnamon rolls because they need to rise once they are made as well. As you can see, the dough is nice and fluffy. I'm just going to roll it all out. I'm going to brush some melted butter on them and I'm going to sprinkle some white sugar, brown sugar, and of course cinnamon, and then roll them all up. I like to cut the cinnamon rolls into equal pieces. I usually get about 11 or 12 pieces. Then I place them into an oiled casserole dish and I cover them with saran wrap. I like to let these rise in the oven. The oven is not on. I just have the light on which generates enough warmth for them to rise. For dinner today, I decided to make chili just because it is very easy and something that I don't have to put a lot of time into. I'm just browning up one pound of meat. I like to season the meat as it cooks with salt, pepper, and chili powder. As my meat is browning, I'm going to chop up my veggies. I like to use celery, onion, and bell pepper. Today, I didn't have any celery, so I'm just using two bell peppers and one large onion. Once my meat is browned, I'm going to add the veggies, stir everything together and cook the veggies until they are softened. Then I'm going to add two cans of tomato sauce and then I'm going to rinse those cans out and do the two cans of water. Then I add two cans of beans. I'm using white kidney beans and the red kidney beans today. And I'm going to season it with salt, pepper, chili powder, and two bay leaves. And I like to cook this on low heat for about two hours. 
It is now lunchtime, and for lunch I just made some quesadillas and we're also having some leftovers. After lunch, my toddler goes down for her nap. My toddler is two and she takes about a two hour nap every single day. My cinnamon rolls have risen, so I'm going to put them into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. And when they are done, I'm going to make the glaze. For the glaze, I use whatever leftover butter I had from putting the inside the cinnamon rolls. And I'm going to put some powdered sugar and milk and stir everything together and spread it on the cinnamon rolls when they have cooled down just a bit so it doesn't just all run off of it. So the cinnamon rolls are done, the chili is still simmering on the stove, and the slip covers are now washed and dried. So I'm going to get the sectional put back together. I'm going to give the living room a quick cleaning. I'm going to vacuum the floors and wash the floors and do a quick dusting, and then the living room will be all done. I'm pretty sure you're safe, but still afraid. I'm walking in your garden, knowing what you're dreaming of. Past the copper statues of everyone you The living room is nice and clean just in time for my grocery delivery. I'm going to unpack my groceries and do a little bit of meal prep to help me get dinner on the table this week. We live out in the country and Instacart only delivers from one grocery store to my house and I don't even like that grocery store. So I use Amazon Prime and they deliver from Whole Foods, which is very convenient when I just have a very busy day and I can't make it out to the grocery store. Sundays are very important to me. I like to prepare and get ready for the week. We do homeschool, so my mornings are very busy. And then after nap time, we only have about two, three hours before dinner time. So I like to be prepared. This is why I take some time on Sunday to make sure we have everything we need for the week so our week goes by smoothly. Before I put any new food into the fridge, I like to wipe everything down. There's always some spills and crumbs, and this is something I do every single Sunday. Whenever I buy any fresh fruit or berries, I like to wash everything and trim it and put it into containers right away. This makes it very easy for us to grab some fruit in the mornings when I am making breakfast. Next, I am moving on to meal prep. For meal prep, I am just going to cut up some meat. I'm making a Mississippi pot roast. Last time I just used a whole uh, pot roast and it took forever to cook. So today I'm just going to trim it and cut it into chunks. So I'm thinking it's gonna cook a lot faster. And this is going to be for this week and it's going to go into the garage fridge. I find it really nice when I have everything trimmed and ready to go. Next, I'm moving on to the chicken. I'm going to grind some chicken for some chicken cutlets and I'm going to cube some chicken for another recipe. So when I do this, when I prepare all of the meat in advance, it makes getting dinner on the table on busy weeknights so much easier. So as far as meal prep, I just got the meat ready today. I'll just do the vegetables on the day of. I am absolutely exhausted. Um, this is the chicken and there's one large onion. This is going to be for the chicken patties. This is just some cubed up chicken that I'll be using for some Mexican like potato packets that I make um, with like a taco seasoning. There's potatoes and then I'll just need to cut up a mushroom and olives in that day. So that'll be easy. And this is going to be for the um, 
the Mississippi pot roast. So I just chunked up the pot roast into pieces. So I'm hoping that it will be a lot more tender this time. And for that day, I'll just have to make some mashed potatoes and a side of broccoli. So that one's easy as well. So these are going to into my garage fridge. Now that I am done meal prepping, I'm just washing all of the dishes and cleaning the kitchen. Now that this armchair has dried, I am putting this throw blanket back on it. I also washed the blanket today. I like to keep the blanket on this chair to help with the stains, but that doesn't always work since my kids kick it off at times. And next we're just going to have our dinner. We're having some chili and I'm also having a salad because I've been craving some greens today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some motivation for your very own get it all done day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.